Okay, so today we will move on to the uh, last chapter in the F3 book for the matrix algebra. Okay, so we'll uh, start with the first part. The first part we learn is how to transpose a matrix. Okay, so given a matrix A, you form the transpose of the matrix A, A transpose by interchanging the rows and columns of A. Okay, so it's really simple. So if you have matrix uh, A, so they have given you here an example. 2, 0, 1, 4, minus 3, 5. These are the two columns. So when you take the transpose of the matrix, what happens? The rows become, the row becomes the column, the column becomes rows, basically. So you can see here the 2, 4, the row has become the column. 0, minus 3 row has become the second column. Third row has become the third column. Do you see it? So that's called the transpose of a matrix. Okay, is that clear? So you can write down the transpose of a matrix is by uh, is done by interchanging the rows and columns. And basically, the transpose matrix we denote it by writing this notation. Do you see the notation A and on top of it, do you see the T? So A and the T on top shows it, it means it's A transpose. Okay. So uh, have a note of that. And then they say the transpose of a matrix of dimension n by m is a matrix of dimension m by n. Do you realize what's going on? N by M is, you know, it's row by column, right? Do you remember in F1 matrices, uh, this is the order of a matrix, row by column. So when you do the transpose, what happens? The rows and columns interchange. Therefore, N by N, uh, N, by, N by M becomes M by M. You see, because the two uh, values interchange, because the number of rows and columns uh, switch. The, the transpose of a square matrix is another square matrix with the same dimension. For example, the transpose of a two by two matrix is another two by two matrix. So for example, uh, Let's say I have matrix B. Uh, you know, square matrix has the same row, a number of rows and columns, right? So what is the uh, B transpose? How do you transpose this? Two, zero, one, five. Yeah, you exchange the rows and columns. Two, one row becomes two, one column. Zero, five row becomes zero, five column. Do you see? So it's two by two, even the transpose one also, because when you interchange two by two, it's again two by two, okay? And then they say if A is equal to A transpose, the matrix A is symmetric. Okay, what do you mean by that? If you, now you know by transpose, we interchange rows and columns. So when you interchange the rows and columns, if there is no change, if there is no change, then the matrix is symmetric. Okay, so for example, they have given you a two by two matrix is symmetric if it has the form A, B, B, C. Do you see what's going on here? So in the symmetric matrix, I think you can see the main diagonal has the uh, element. So here A and C are the main diagonal elements. And do you see on the either side of the diagonal, the values are the same. Okay, so shall I, uh, shall we do the transpose? You know, here they say A is A, B, B, C, right? Can you all take the A transpose? What happens? A, B, uh, the A, B row has to now become the A, B column. Do you see? And then the BC row should be now the BC column. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and now end up when you look at the result, is the result uh, same or is it different? A, B, B, C, A, B, B, C, result is the same. And you see, so the, uh, these kinds of matrices are symmetric and there is a uh, way to identify symmetric matrices. So this is a two by two symmetric matrix. Look at the three by three symmetric matrix. In a symmetric matrix, basically what you have here is the main diagonal only has the, uh, the, main, the elements in the main diagonal are not going to be switched. The elements in the main diagonal, when you exchange, they will stay at exactly the same place. The people who are interchanged are the others. And you can see here that these elements are matching. Do you see? Can you see these elements are matching? B, B, here C and C, here E and E. So if you have in such a way, this is called a symmetric matrix. Because if you do take the, if you take the transpose, you get the exact same answer again. Okay, because basically it's like the main diagonal is a mirror line. So on either side of the diagonal, you have the same thing reflected. Do you get what I'm saying? If you have this format, the matrix is symmetric. Either it's two by two or whether it's three by three. Okay, and then when you interchange rows and columns, you will end up getting the exact same matrix. Okay, so then the next, last one you need to know about is the identity matrix. The identity matrix is you, I think you might remember identity matrix from uh, F1. Uh, in identity matrix, the main diagonal consists of only one. You know, the main diagonal is from the top left to bottom right corner, right? Main diagonal. So the main diagonal consists of only one. So every other element is zero. So you have a three by three identity matrix. We have the two by two identity matrix. So they have in three by three. 
Who is the two by two identity matrix? One zero zero one. So it's, this is the two by two identity matrix. Three by three is this. You can see main diagonals are one. Everything else is zero. Okay. And then uh, the last one, the zero matrix. The zero matrix is where basically everyone is zero. Okay, that's a zero matrix. Okay, so these are the basic uh, definitions you need to know. Okay, you need to know, know about each and every one of these matrices: the transpose matrix, the symmetric matrix, the identity matrix. So you need to know, have a clear idea about these matrices before we proceed with the lesson. Okay. Okay. So question number two, write down in part A, they ask you to write down the A transpose. How do you write A transpose here? Just exchange the rows and column. You get two minus three becomes the, the column becomes the row. Four, six, second column becomes the second row. Is that clear? Part B, A into A transpose. So you need to multiply A, two minus three, four, six with the A transpose. Two, four minus three, six. Can I know the multiplied answer here? 20, 18, 18, 45. Okay, so you can multiply with the calculator or you can do it manually. Okay. And then the next one, part C, A transpose into A. Is it the same or is it different? It's different, right? That means the matrix multiplication is not commutative. Basically, when you change in other sides, everything changes. What do you get here? 13 minus 10 minus 10. You see, the matrix modification is not permitted. You change the size and the answer will change. Okay, is this clear? Okay, so we'll move on to question number three. So here they say, find the matrix B A. Can you all tell me what's the answer when you multiply matrix B into A? So you can do it from the cal. B minus two, two, one, right? So what is the answer when you multiply matrix B, A? Minus nine, eight, eight minus four. Okay, so you can give it in the can and then verify that A transpose times B transpose equals B, A, uh, a full thing transpose. And actually this is a standard rule. Okay, can you see here? If A and B are matrices with dimension N by M and N, M by P, then A, B transpose is equal to B transpose times a transpose this is actually a main rule that you should know. That means if you take the um, A, B matrix and take the transpose, you could get the same answer by taking B transpose multiplied by A transpose. Do you see here the matrices are switched here? A, B transpose is equal to B transpose, not A transpose, B transpose. Can you see? It's B transpose into A transpose. So the, the two uh, values here, they, are, they have switched. So it's important that you understand that and this is the main rule that you are allowed to use. Okay. So now, right now in question number three, what we do is we are verifying this rule. Okay, we are verifying this rule. Okay, so make sure you make a note of this. This is again another what? Another main uh, rule in this lesson. A, B transpose is equal to B transpose. A transpose is a major rule in this particular lesson. Okay, which you are allowed to use. Uh, this result, you are allowed to uh, quote this result at any given, uh, in any sum if required. Okay, so then we are going to verify this rule. Uh, so first thing is we get A transpose, B transpose. So uh, what is A transpose? A transpose is uh, 3, 2, or I minus 2, 1. So I exchange the rows and columns. B transpose is 1, 6, 0, minus 4. So A transpose, B transpose is 3, 2, minus 2, 1. B transpose is 1, 6, 0, minus 4. What do we get here? Yeah? Minus 9, 8. Yeah, and then they ask you to show that. Uh, yeah, so this is A transpose, B transpose is equal to B A transpose. That is, we already got B A here. So B A transpose is what? Get this B A transpose here. So exchange the rows and columns. I think you can see nine minus nine eight when you make it to a row, and uh, when you get uh, minus eight uh, eight minus four into a row. I think you can see it's the same answer we get here. Do you see? I'm oh, sorry, B A transpose. So 
So end of the day, A transpose times B transpose is equal to B A transpose. Okay, and this is the major rule. Okay. Yeah.